Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It's Taskmaster Tuesday, second video of this season. The first one, for me, was a disaster, but for Brother Monroe, Spartan Elites, and Serious Strategy Gamer, it was not. They all got two points. So we have a, um, a triple shared first place, I suppose, for those gentlemen. So I have quite a bit of catching up to do, and I hope to do so this week with this week's tasks. And the task is, um, interestingly, have 52 main guns on one ship. 52 mains. That can be done by using 7 centerline quads and one six, oh, sorry, 6 side quads. That is going to yield you one whole point. Winning the battle gives you a point. Winning the battle with at least 50% structural integrity remaining, one point. Cause an enemy ship to sink due to excessive fire. This is not structural or uh, buoyancy reaching zero. Gives you another point. And have your ship capable of doing 35 knots with 100% engine efficiency is also a point. Now I'm thinking um, the, the number one and five task, which are also linked down below in the description, um, they are difficult to pull, to pull off together for the simple reason that you're going to need a lot of deck space in order to house 52 main guns. You're also going to have to house a lot of funnels if you want to get up to 100% engine efficiency. So it's going to be probably one or the other. I'm going to try and get 52 guns on my ship just because I think it's funny. Now, the nation that we start with is Admiral's Choice so long as we start in 1940. And uh, we're fighting the Empire of Japan. They can field some really large battleships. They have a really big hull. I'm thinking the US has these, these towers that are not great. Um, they take up a lot of width on the ship and thereby making it very difficult to put on additional mainline guns. Italians, I think they don't have the ships that are big enough. You guys don't have the ships that are big enough. The Spanish... I don't know about the Spanish. Hold on, the Russian ships are usually pretty sleek, aren't they? The Russian battleships might... might be able to do it. Alright, I'm picking Russia. Let's have a look. Ah, yes. The super battleship, out to 99,000 tons. Let's see if this thing, with its weird quarter deck, can house all those guns. Considering that I'm going to go with a ship that is supposedly carrying 52 main guns, I'm probably going to have to cut corners elsewhere. And when I say cut corners, I mean standard gun reload and potentially hydraulic turrets, so the base setting, just to ensure that I can actually fit all of those things before they get too heavy. As for the main guns, oh, this is tricky. Um, of course, with a, a hull that's not as big as I would like it to be, fitting 56 20-inch turrets is complete and utter madness. It will simply not work. They're far too heavy because I would need to fit 13 turrets, 13 turrets each worth 6,000 tons. So no, thank you. We're gonna have to go with something far smaller. Um, the smallest quad that you can get is a 14-incher. And it's going to put you at 2,000 tons. I don't think I can pull that off either. This quarter deck is so weird. I mean, you'd think that you could put a turret on there, but you, you just really can't. Alright, let's go with another barbette. Hmm. Maybe this Russian hull is going to have some issues. Because I... Well, I could supposedly small on the secondary tower. Like, make it like that. That is six out of my seven required turrets. Shift this thing back, shift that thing for, uh, back as well, and then... Does it fit? No. No, it does not. Alternatively, put this thing forward. Hold on. 
It says put 52 guns on your ship. Nowhere does it say make sure that all guns are able to fire. Hold on. Caveat detected. What do you mean this is a monstrosity? This is fine. This is science. Can we put this thing potentially on a barbette? You. Go sit over there. Go sit in your little corner. And then the barbette goes there. The turret goes here. And the other one... There we go. If it sits, I fits. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not quite like that. Uh, anyway, it, it fits. Ish. But we're not quite done yet. Because I still need to mount another six... <laughs> six additional turrets. Um, six fifteens? Three per side? Oh no. Where? No, these things are far too big. The thirteens are too small. Oh, come on. Come on, throw me a bone here. This has to work. I'm still under displacement limit, which is interesting. Another issue, however, that I might have if I try to go for something like this is that I'll simply not be able to turn any of the turrets. The ship probably wouldn't be capable of fitting all these things. And it's a slightly older hull, meaning that it won't fit. If I were to go with a modern battleship too, I'd probably run into similar issues. Yeah, I'm going to need that additional 20,000 tons. All right, max it out. Um, the triangular tower. This thing could... It takes up less room. Hold on. Compact secondary for plus three. This gives you absolutely no bonuses for long range accuracy. This one does, that one does, and that one does as well, but it takes up a ton of space. So I'll take this one. I'll probably shift that around a little. All right. Center lines 14, as far back as I can. Then a barbette. Oh, no, 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 not there. Go. Uh, a barbette. Mm. Let me put another one here. This could... Actually, could that sit on a barbette? Because then I can put side mounts next to it. This might work. Four, five... Oh shit, I need two more. <laughs> oh. Um, can I make the, the turret trick again? Yes. <laughs> Problem. This part. You don't say. I think that turret doesn't like it. It doesn't have to like it, just to sit there. There we go. So, that's at least the center line guns fixed. Now I need to get the secondary... Well, the, the, the off-center ones. The side mounts. Oh, that fits? Come on, baby. Find a place to sit. There. We got it. Okay, we got it. Um, some issues here. I have very little when it comes to armor. I have no bulkheads. I still need to get up to 35 knots if I want to get that extra point. And if I want to get that extra point, I'm also going to have to ensure that this thing has maximum engine efficiency. Uh, yeah. No. Is it doable to put... Another sight mount over there. I'm trying to get rid of this turret over here. So if I can get rid of that, I can stash additional funnels on the deck, getting to my 100% engine efficiency. That one, 
35 knots and that higher engine efficiency is actually the easier one. It's the easier task. But getting all of those turrets to fit, that is something else entirely. You take your turret with you, and then we're going to cram you right into the bridge. As close as I can. There we go. Yes. Got it. It looks atrocious, and this turret is not having a great time. This turret's not having any time. I need to fix that. Can you sit there? Now you can. Good man. Alright. So now I have everything, sort of. Uh, I, I'm curious, what happens if I go for auto loaders? We're currently at 90,551 tons. 5,000 tons! It's not even that bad. Reload, 34.8. Reload... Ooh. 57.8. What I'm going to do is extremely risky. I'm going to run Lidite. Because I want to get that additional point that says, if you can cause an enemy to sink due to excessive fire, you get one point. And with this armament, I really only have to hit a destroyer once, I think, in order to make that work. Hold on. What sort of funnels do I need? Because this is 70 capacity. This is 89. Yeah, this one for the displacement. This is a no-brainer. Yeah, I need that additional funnel there. Another problem that I'm going to have is my four weight offset. I don't know what to do about that, if anything. Oh, crap. Oh, I can reduce the range to nothing. Kick off the aux one. We can go without aux entirely. That way I can at least have a turtle back armor scheme. Reinforced one? No, it's too heavy. Nope. Nope. Anti-flood? <laughs> Anti-flood's one ton too heavy. I'll sacrifice a little bit of armor to ensure that that will fit. Ugh. This is such a disaster of a ship. Yes, it'll probably be able to put out a ton of shells. If, and that is a big if, if these turrets will turn. Which I'm actually thinking they might not. So, let's sort of pre-aim them outwards. Just to ensure that, um, well, let's say that they're not capable of turning. If they're not, then at least they'll have some sort of a field of fire. It won't be pretty, but I'll just have to try and make it work. Uh, I've got a port weight offset. Do you need to come out more? No, it's this one. I think. And when it comes to the, my actual firepower, I'm going to be using that one, that one, maybe that one? Hold on, if I put it on a tall superimposed barbette, maybe it'll spin a little bit better. There we go. Oh crap, I forgot to put that turret back. Um, what if I remove this and cram this thing back? It's unfortunate that this whole barbette doesn't really want to shift too far. Oh, 
hold on. This might give me options. Because I can pull this one to here. These things might actually spin freely. Starboard wet offset 1%. Yeah, so that was the culprit. And what if... What if, what if, what if... I remove this one. I pull this one to here. I put that funnel... Oh, come on, work with me here. I put the funnel over there. 100% engine efficiency, yes. I put these here. Face outwards. Really seriously, please try and turn. Oh, snap. Did I remove a turret? Yes! I removed too many guns. I think you guys were sitting here-ish? Yeah, I removed that turret when I was fixing the secondary tower. Uh... This is a tough one. The task was created by Brother Monroe, and he likes to throw us for a loop with these weird challenges. Which, to his credit, works. Because I'm having all sorts of issues <laughs> trying to fit everything in. Compact secondary? Nothing compact about that. Oh, where am I going to leave that last gun? If I only quartered, that could be used. Okay, I fixed it. It's um, a, it's a dreadnought of a, a freak of a ship. This thing uh, works-ish. I have all guns, at least more mainline guns, on and uh, tall and superimposed barbettes to ensure they have a bit more turning ability and shooting ability. This way, I am very much hoping that they're going to be actually pitching into the battle. These things are a guess. I don't know whether they're going to be capable of turning or not. As for upgrades, I have standard gun reload, I have standard turrets. Uh, the only thing that I'm going, away, going with is super heavy shells. A Generation 2 Radar and Stereoscopic 4. This gives me an effective range of 28.5, with the big caveat that some of these guns will not fire. Which ones those will be? I don't know. Uh, protection of the ship is pretty terrible. Barbette 1. Maximum bulkheads. Um, Anti-flood 1. Standard amount of bulkheads, so the standard reinforced, or the standard type, not the reinforced. And as for the armor on the ship, well, let's say that I really hope that the Japanese do not bring their 20-inch guns out to play. If they do, oh boy. That's going to be problematic. Um, this is going to be uh, the joke, because this is a joke of a ship. Right, let's put this thing to the Japanese and see if they die of laughter. All right. Here goes. The Japanese armada has arrived. But they have no idea that the joke <laughs> is coming out to meet them. Uh, the joke also has a joke of a turning circle. We're looking at 2011 meters, and this time around I'm inclined to believe them. Because according to the planner, it's going to take me about 5 kilometers to not even do a turn that's going to turn the ship 90 degrees. So, um, well, actually, that means the turning circle is definitely not two kilometers. It's something way worse. The Japanese battleships. Currently dying of laughter as they're about to spot the joke. These are... Oh, they look good. I'll give them that. Secondaries are a bit much on the side, but that's one of the few details that I do not like. They have... Um, Nine eight sorry nine nineteen inch guns backed up by sevens seventy five three inch guns thirty four inch guns and six six inch guns right well the bad news is those things will not hit me because I do not intend to get into range ever 
Their battle cruiser um, is interestingly mild. It has a mere, well, mere, it has 18 11 inch guns. So the 11 inch guns, probably not too dangerous, but it's still not really something that I want to tango with entirely. Now, let's have the joke steady out in the course. I'm probably going to have to plan about 15 kilometers ahead with this plan, this, this, well, ship. Oh, ow. Well, that's a great start. How am I going to make a thumbnail out of that? Like, I have <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, yeah. Something like that, I guess. There. All right. Excuse the interruption. Uh, that was indeed a 19-inch shell. The Japanese have opened up and drawn first blood. Which could have been way worse, considering that I have very little deck armor. Where is their battle cruiser? 28 kilometers out. 28.4. Open fire. What do we have? Um, I'm not even sure how to name these turrets. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> and then the side mounts. Uh, let's say this is P1, P2, P3, SB1, SB2, SB3. We are, well, I was going to say we're locked on target, but that's a bit of a joke with a 0.6% accuracy. And I'm also, of course, struggling to get any kind of, well, any kind of accuracy. Because I have a 4 weight of set of about, what was it, 15%, I think. But, and here's the, the nice part, um, I have your ship capable of doing 35 knots. Uh-oh. With 100% engine efficiency for one point, and have 52 guns for one point. You don't have to win. It's not saying you have to win. I already lost SB2. But, considering that this could have been one massive firecracker, I'm... Oof. I'm not actually too unhappy about that. Because with the way that this thing has poor protection. I mean, I have Barbette Armor 1. I'm surprised that it's not worse. I'm surprised that they haven't popped all the turrets yet, simply because they caused one flash fire. Another fire, it hits the... Oh! That's a turret. A turret's gone. I have engine problems. I'm going to be slowing down to 21 knots. I think this is going to be over pretty quick. Which is really anticlimactic, because I was expecting to have this thing fight the Japanese. And actually do some damage against them. But those 19-inch guns just outrange me by a substantial margin. And they already appear to be, well, scarily accurate. And it's like the ship has just decided to give up on firing at the battle cruiser. Oh, there we go. Oh, another fire. Baby, don't hurt me. I do wonder, and Brother Monroe might be able to answer this in the comments. When he's creating these tasks, is he thinking, you know what, I'm going to throw in this really weird requirement or really weird objective that says have your ship capable of doing 35 knots, have 52 main guns. Um, maybe they're distractions, because winning the battle is one point, and winning the battle with at least 50% structural integrity remaining, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty close to already falling under that. Those might be more doable with a more normal ship. But then again, I'm also trying to make these things funny. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be a ship that uh, gets a laugh out of you. As a viewer. Are we in range of the big guns yet? Now we're getting there. But unfortunately, they're probably faster. 
Yeah, I'm going to fall back to 20 knots. And unless those Japanese ships are really slow, they will keep ahead of me. And uh, turning broadside? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can turn broadside with this ship. We'll be there in that position to broadside the enemy next week. Because that's how long it's going to take to turn this thing around. Let's pull a hard star return, if you want to call it that. Here. Um, at my 22 knots, it's getting a bit more reasonable, <laughs> sort of, but not by much. Damage to the main gun. Structural integrity, 56%. This poor thing. Turret missing. Another turret missing. Massive craters in the deck. Please don't blow away my own funnel, if you don't mind. We're still planning on using that. Come on, can we at least get a hit on the Japanese ships? Anything? Oh, fire. This thing is so poorly protected. But hey, maybe the other guys didn't go for the extra points and just thought, you know what, we're going to try and make a fast ship and got citadels, got their ship blown up because of an ammo explosion. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping for that, because Taskmaster for me is doing very poorly. Ah, there we go. They can only do 25 knots. That's actually pretty good for me. Um, oh, we hit him! Wow. Maximum bulkheads. Crap. As for displacement, they're lighter ships than mine. At 87,455 tons. Substantial amount of deck armor. Uh, yes. Burning them down is not going to work either. At least not very well. Structural integrity is 53%. I'm going to try to turn a broadside as much as possible to bring as many of these 14 inches to bear as I possibly can. But I really cannot hope to match their level of accuracy of 10% chance to hit versus my one and a half. So if I cannot match their accuracy, I might be able to make up with it or for it with sheer volume of fire. So long as the joke doesn't get blown up. We're on fire. The battle cruiser is 19 clicks out. Could we eliminate that? Maybe. Switch fire. 1.7. The problem is I cannot quickly eliminate those 19 inch guns. I might be able to get the 11 inchers off my back. But it's going to be tough. And you could make the point that it doesn't really matter. Because they don't run out of shells easily with those 19 inches. Uh, and I run out of hit points a lot faster. Chance to pen their BB? 23%. Star return. Also, trying to catch their destroyers is going to be a nightmare. Because they have three of them. But good luck getting into range of those. With my whole 19 knots. Yari. He's running away. We're on fire again. 51% structural. 49. We had lost that point. Cannot get it anymore. But it also kind of requires winning the battle. And with my current situation, I have zero hope of winning the battle. I'm just trying to do any kind of damage, but it's not going to happen. Now, I have probably all sorts of debuffs. Um, target size? Yeah. Look at that. If I select the uh, Shinyo and then have her target my ship, 
you can see what the modifier is. Target f target ship size is a plus 672% chance to hit. Now that is all percentage based, but for me it's a 544, so their size is smaller and that's kind of helping them. Um, target fast speed is a minus 10.4 for them. And for me it's a debuff because well, they have a 15... Yeah, my speed debuff is worse. So my chance to hit them is worse because they are, <laughs> believe it or not, relatively quick at 25 knots. But hey, I'm going to stick to my guns, uh, all of them, while well, barring those that got blown off. I at least have two points because they were not prerequisite on winning the battle. But aside from that, this Russian monstrosity has no business being on the battlefield. It really should not be here. Or at least not in its current configuration. I have done 7 points of damage. I have fired 456 shells. And I've hit 3. Russian gunners. The battleships here are playing it well. They're staying at range. And that's really the only thing that I need to do. Because they're very accurate. They know they can hit me. My chance to hit them. Not nearly as good. It's not even 10% of their accuracy. Oh, close. Good grief. 39% structural. Flooding. That was bound to happen. Engine is out. At least one of them is. And since I don't carry any kind of an auxiliary engine, I'm very much relying on my main engines to try and get water out of flooded compartments. 23 clicks. Still only fired... Oh, sorry. Still only hit 3 out of 544. This thing is such a... Sometimes I'm honestly just thinking, you know what, give up on Taskmaster. Because previous week was a disaster, this week is a disaster. The other guys are all farming some points. Not necessarily fast, but at least they're getting points. This is more than I can say at the moment. But now I have two. I have a whole two. So, ready or not, here I come. And yes, I'm still flinging high explosive their way in hopes that I can do some with my high explosive. Just some damage whatsoever. Maybe I can hit their superstructure hard enough with a 14 inch super heavy shell powered by lidite. And maybe it's going to burn that thing down, causing them to not have any further uh, damage control ability, or at least severely reduced. But I kind of doubt it. Nineteen clicks. I'm still holding at seventeen clicks. You know what? Switch fire to the guy. Or whatever. Just do anything. Alter select. I'll let the AI pick what shells it deems best, which I think is high expl No, it's armor piercing. I was kind of hoping that the Japanese would die of laughter when they saw this thing, but they didn't. Surprisingly, though, I'm not dead yet, after an hour of battle. The Shinyo still has 656 shells, and you still have 662. So that's not great. Now, what other hulls would I have had available? Uh, the US have a big hull, and then you have the Germans, which have a big hull. I didn't pick the Germans because of their tower format. They have really wide towers, and same for the Americans. At least the Germans still have some sort of pits, if you will, where you might have a gun emplacement, but the Americans don't. They're all about the secondaries with their towers. And that makes it very difficult to try and get all of those secondaries on. Now, 
looking back at this, I think the safer option would have been to just ignore the 52 gun um, option and to build a fast, heavy battleship with a maybe a slightly moderate armament, like 16s. Win the battle for a point, win the battle with more structural integrity remaining, and you could do that because you could have the German battleship, for example, extremely heavily armored. Uh, cause an enemy ship to sink due to excessive fire, that might be tricky. That might be tricky. Speaking of... What is my chance to hit the DD? Because I might... If I hit the DD once... If I just get lucky once... Oh, hold on. You're doing... 14. Target this one. Target the Shirakumo. Because she seems slow. There might be a third point up for grabs, because she's doing... 9 knots. Accuracy is 1-6. One, 1-6 six. One, six and 1-9. One, and I have all gun. Well, most of my guns that are still available firing at that ship. <laughs> Just look at that broadside. This is going to be good. Headphone users, beware. I give this game some hate from time to time because it just does not have the best AI, but the graphics are spectacular. Just having a ship like that... Oh, no. Just having a ship like that sail past and fire all of her guns, I think it's beautiful. What is less beautiful is the incoming salvo that the Shirakumo has just launched at me. At this point, I have nothing to lose but my life. And I'm not quite willing to give up that yet. So I'm going to put the engines in reverse. Let the torpedoes pass, hopefully. Because with sonar 1 and a turning circle of 2 kilometers, uh, what I can do is just... I can sit here. Um, because if I just keep moving, I can see the torpedoes coming for about a few kilometers and not do anything about it. Yes! Got it. Shirakumo sinks due to excessive fire. That's three points. <laughs> okay. That's three points. That's what I was hoping to get with the super heavy shells fired by Lidite. It worked. Sort of. I mean, I'm not dead yet. This torpedo's been spotted yet. No, I don't think they have. Battleship distance 21 and 21. I'm still slowly reversing. Let's see, what sort of torps do you guys carry? 18 inch. Very stealthy. I might not even see these things at all. Let's see if I can get some sort of... <laughs> Let's see if I can get some sort of mobility out of this ship. Uh, no, said the ship. Because <laughs> I have no engines left. Engines 1, 2, and 3 are damaged. Hopefully they can get fixed. You can usually get diesels back. Oh! Hello. You can usually get the diesels operational faster than geared steam turbines. Um, but this thing has taken a ton of damage. Hold on, the Ashi is nine clicks away? Could we kindly eliminate that DD before it lays eggs? Because this is going to be a problem. Do I have any interpreter blister? No. Couldn't fit that, too heavy. Still three engines damaged. Come on, buddy, you got those diesels. Fix them up. Six and a half clicks out. Oh no. No, 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 no. I know exactly what this guy is going to be doing. The only thing that's currently saving me is the angle at which the ship is arriving. Because those torpedo launchers cannot be used. She turns to port. Those things open up. I'm done. 
but I might at least take a DD with me. Or another DD at that. Fire and flooding. Don't. Don't do it. Seriously, don't do it. It's turning the other way? It's zigzagging. No, 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 no. It's out. Oh, here come the torps. It's out turning its torpedo launcher. Now, since I packed everything I had, all the displacements, into the 14 inches. Oh, you survived? No, I didn't. Um, since I packed all of that into the 14 inches, I had nothing left for secondaries. Here come the torps. This could very well end me, even if they're only 18s. Yeah, that buoyancy is not looking great. Structural 4%. Buoyancy 70%. Come on, Hatakazi. Sink. Oh dear. No! What? How did you miss that? Oh, you didn't. I'm a sitting duck. How the hell did they miss? There. <laughs> the battleships and the battle cruisers might be fine. The light cruiser might not have even fired a single shot yet. But the DDs? Oh, the DDs. The DDs didn't make it out alive, but neither did the joke. Joke's on me. But I got three points. Which is three points more than I had last week. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this monstrosity of a ship. Um, do let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. And I hope that you check out the other contestants as well. The link to down below in the description. They're great at chip design. And they're great at getting points. I just hope that they're not too good this week. Brother Monroe, Spartan Elite and Serious Strategy Gamer are linked down below. Check them out. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon for more videos.